What is up, Power Maniacs? Power Stasis here. We are back in the world of uh, Golem Factory. And uh, we did do, you'll notice some things look a little different. Uh, we did a update, and unfortunately it wiped my save completely, uh, even though I backed it up. So I'm not sure what happened. It's been a little bit since we did this, so it's quite possible I forgot to transfer my save over from the old PC. Uh, it, it wouldn't be unlike me. Um, so things are a little different. Things are a little different. I just want to kind of cover the differences. Uh, first off, you're going to notice we have a different golem here. This is a tallow golem. Uh, if you remember in the original Let's Play, where we, we you know, that's the one you watched before this one, the, the first episode, um, we got an upgrade core, which allowed us to have our minion, uh, this little dude here, carry more than normal. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we got a, well, I mean, not necessarily unfortunately, just different. We got a tallow golem instead, which he basically already carries that without having to be told. Um, and then we bought a clay golem. They can naturally carry more. And um, that's pretty much where we are now. So uh, one of the other things I noticed is we have a fill and we have an empty. Fill is kind of like, that, that's the specific setup, which I'm not a big fan of. Uh, reason I'm not a big fan of is it makes automation a little bit difficult. And the reason I say that is because these dudes only have a few things in their and their options here you know you've only got two and with only two options uh, you know especially when you're sorting ores it's kind of hard to to get a a fill option to work well um fill is is a little bit more refined whereas empty pff, it'll pull anything i'll put it wherever so we've got this dude as an empty uh we've got this guy as an empty and then we've got this dude as a fill. We will eventually change this guy to an empty as well. So he'll be emptying this box into here. This guy will be emptying this machine into this chest. And this guy will empty from this chest into this machine. And boom, this little dude, I'm just going to right click. He is going to empty that, let's go ahead and click from there to here. And so these two dudes should all work together now. You can see he's actually pulling out now pretty good. And that's, that's, okay, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna go ahead and turn sound off again. Sorry, sorry, that, that, will, that will drive just about anybody crazy uh, rather rapidly. Um, so I, I found this setup works a little bit better. Uh, it's, it's, it, it's just more functional. It's just more functional. Um, and, and I don't know, I like it. Uh, there may be a way to make the fills work a little bit better that I just simply don't know about, but as far as I know, you can only do two types, which uh, puts a pretty nasty limit on filling. Okay, so last time um, I'd forgotten to turn hardcore mode on, so uh, just to show you guys that real quick, I think if I click and then click, yeah. You can see I've got uh, the hardcore mode now on. Uh, I have no idea how we're supposed to get these additional lives. So I need to be just really, really bloody careful so that we don't die. Uh, you can see I accidentally put an iron ore block here. There's no way for me to break this without just destroying it. And uh, I would kind of like to hang on to it. Uh, you can also see over here, these guys are currently idle because well, they're not doing anything. There's nothing really for them to, to worry about. So we are gonna go ahead and put the wool over here. Now, since this guy is still a processor and not anything else, um, we're going to have to bypass him because he's too stupid otherwise. Uh, and then I want to open this up and make sure that we don't act, fuck, that we don't accidentally put, let's go ahead and put all this stuff in the front. That way all my string comes in here. Uh, the reason I want the string going in there, I honestly don't think you can burn string, but you may be able to. And if you are, I don't want to burn my string because we're going to need those for the tallow candles. Uh, which we'll be turning in hopefully here shortly. Now, the other thing that we were working on under shipments was the cocks. So we need Tinker's Alloy Gear and we need Envark Gear. Um, both of these, I'm probably being silly. So we're going to go and just pull all of this stuff out real quick. Pull that out. We'll leave the shiny metal in. Pull that out. Uh, pulverized golds in. Fine. We'll leave all that stuff in there for the moment. Um, I think I'm going to just change this guy real quick from here. I don't want you putting into there. I want you to put into... Wait, did I not click him right? Dude. Dude. No. Dude. Dude. No. What, what the fuck am I... No. Hey. Hey. Okay. There we go. I want you to put into here. Okay. There we go. All right. 
Not quite sure what I did. What, was it you that I screwed up? No, was it you I screwed up? Yes, it was you I screwed up. You're all over the place, you poor little thing. Uh, but it doesn't seem to be affecting you, so I'm not going to worry about it. We're just going to let you do what you do, and hopefully you don't break things. And this idiot. Dude, I moved you. What are you doing, man? Me and you had a talk. We worked this out. All right, let's uncheck that. Let's uncheck that so that we, we can break. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Buddy, 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 buddy. Bam. Aha. Okay. So we can go bam. There we go. Now you're fixed. All right. So that should change him on the next road. There we go. Yes. Bro five. Bro five. Okay. So he's figured his shit out. He's good. Okay. So the reason I canceled this, and I should have done this earlier, um, un unfortunately, you know. Pyro's a dummy. Uh, I forgot that we have to make these alloys, uh, and these alloys we can't do by making machines. So, for instance, we can't use a uh, induction furnace. Oh, well, I mean, we can. We just can't. We can't build one. So, we need some of this Tinker's Alloy Blend, which is going to be pulverized copper and tin. So, we're going to go like this, and we're going to put some tin here. That's going to give us four. So, each of these is going to turn into an ingot. So, we need four of these. Per cog, so 4 times 20 is 80. So we're going to need 80 of these. Uh, that's 52. We're going to need a lot more than that. We're going to need a lot more than that. All right, so let's uh, let's check here. All right, he's good. Uh, we do have some of these in here now, which means we're going to have to re-grind these. I'm so looking forward to that. Uh, let's pull that out so we stop wasting that as well. Pull the 10 out. Uh, 10 we can probably keep. Uh, we're not going to really need a lot of 10. Uh, 10 should be fine. Uh, why did you guys stop? Bro, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, man? You having, you having some issues? Or are you full over here? Is that the problem? No. You're not full. Did I reverse you? What is your problem, bro? Okay. You know what? Put you there. Okay. Is that the take or is that the put? No, he can't put in there. It's not possible. All right, so shift, right click. Okay, and bam. Now will you come? Really, dude? Really? You're going to make me break you, aren't you? Yep, you're going to make me break you because you're a dick. What the fuck? I hate you. I hate you so much. Okay, is, is that okay? Okay, yeah, it's fine. All right. So we're just going to go bam. Pick you up. Try this again. Boom. Put you there. Now we're going to click on you. Bazow. And you're still set to move. So why you no move? I have no idea what this guy's problem is. He's like bugged. It's like he just like had a fucking stroke or something. This is so weird. I'm sure I'm doing something wrong. It wouldn't be the first time. Either that or Thomcraft crashed and I just haven't noticed it yet. All right, so these guys are completely bored at this point, uh, which is not good and not acceptable. Uh, pulverized ferrous metal, we still have that, so we're going to need to combine that with pulverized... Is it, is it iron for Invar? I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, so we're going to need some pulverized iron. Splendid. Splendid. So we're going to have to grind all of this stuff back up. So we're going to put the copper in here, we're going to put the iron in there. Uh, and then we're going to pull one of each out. We've already got one of the other. Right click on you, clear, clear, put you here, and then we'll put uh, you, no, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry, that's my mistake. Really? It's not going to to one, that's kind of cool though. Left click and right click, you can increase the numbers. I think that's pretty awesome, I think that's pretty awesome. Alright, what is your issue? Yes, I want you to remove everything from the container. Why is that challenging for you, sir? Why, why are you, what is your, mis what is your malfunction, sir? What is your, oh God, you're an idiot. All right, so let's just break him again. Let's see if we can't fix him. Um, actually, I need to completely break him. So let's do a uh, splat and then do, 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 there we go. That'll completely break him. Uh, completely breaking him, I believe, resets all his logic. So that's kind of what we want to do. All right, so we're going to put you here. That's going to link you to that machine, right? Yep, you're linked. Now we're going to come over here. We're going to right click. That's going to link you to that machine. And then we're going to go ahead and put fill on you. And now you should work again. Yay, aren't you special? Moron. Okay. 
and I am of course doing what I don't want to do again. Uh, so I need to temporarily, well, no, we're just going to break you and temporarily break him reasoning. I don't want him doing what he's doing. We want to, we want to be able to like make this stuff on our own for now. Okay. All right. So we've got some more pulverized copper, which we'll put here, put that there. Uh, we're going to put the little 10 piece there, which we'll put there. And that's going to give us, how much is that? We needed, how much do we need? Uh, 20 times four is 80. So we need 80. So we're at 68. So we're almost there. Almost there. There we go. Whoops. That's a wrong, that's the wrong click. All right. So that's, uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. Yeah, I guess we'll have to do one more batch of four and that ought to give us 12. Uh, yeah, 60, 76, 76, and then there's 80. So that's all that we need of these. So these we actually need to process. So we're going to put you in there. That's going to go ahead and process up. That'll give us our Tinker's alloy stuffs, which is what we're actually here for. Uh, and I can come back over here now and I can cancel all this copper being ground up, at least for the moment. Uh, we'll leave iron in there because we are going to need the iron. That is one of those... That is one of the ones we are going to need ground up. And we'll start letting that run through its paces. Okay, so we almost got all the wool ground. Um, I think we need we need a little bit more, which we'll have to wait just a few minutes to do. Uh, now, the ferrous setup is going to be a little bit easier than the previous one. We just do one ferrous there, and I believe it's iron, iron. And that's all we need. So again, same thing with this. We're going to need 80 Envar, which isn't too bad. It's, it's not too bad. <laughs> it's a little, it's a little bit of a, a, of a, of a chore, but not, not too terrible. All right. So that's giving us 23. The other thing is we are going to need 40 iron ingots to do this. Thankfully, we already have our 40 iron ingots, so that's not going to be a problem. I'm going to go ahead and transfer the iron ingots over to here, though, just to make it a little bit easier on myself. And let's make some more. There we go. Put you back up in there, and that's going to give us about a half stack. All right, so while we're waiting on that to process, let me double check and see how we're doing over here. Okay, we're almost done with the iron. Yeah, I'm hoping we don't have to put more in here, because that will, that will kind of bum me out. It'll kind of bum me out a little bit. Now, I have to be careful, because you can see we're basically out of Quicksilver. So I need to be careful over the next couple minutes because if I screw myself at this point, um, I, I could really, I could really, the Let's Play would be over at that point. So I need to be careful and make sure I have these two gears correct. I believe we're going to get a pretty big payday off this challenge, which will hopefully get us back in the red. Uh, worst case scenario, after we turn this challenge in, I can always run some iron through a few times and then we'll be okay. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm basically got to be really, really careful here because we've, we've kind of, I've, I, because of all the, the upgrades and stuff that I've purchased, we've kind of put ourselves in a bit of a, as they say, a pickle, um, because we, we don't really have the funding at this point, at this point to buy anything else. So things will be, things will be rather nasty. All right. So we're going to pick these up for now. Uh, I don't know how much room do we have in here. We got plenty. So I'm just going to fill all these up in here as well. And then we're just going to pick up a couple of these. And we're just going to make some candles. There we go. And if I recall, the candle recipe is like that. That's correct. White tallow candle. Let's go ahead and verify that. You, know, you don't want to make a million of something uh, if, it, if it doesn't do you any good. Uh, and you can see right here, white tallow candle. It needs a thousand. A thousand. That's a lot. A thousand candles is an absolute, uh, as they say, metric shit ton. So 1,000 divided by 64 is 15.6 stacks. 15 stacks of 64. Wows us. All right, so let's go ahead and process those. Uh, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 and a half. So how many did I say we needed? 16 stacks basically to complete yeah all right so let's pick up a couple more of these put a couple more of those in that's going to give us a couple more stacks and we're probably gonna have to run a little bit more string through maybe not maybe not we'll see 
Uh, now we're running out of strain, which is fine. There we go. All right, so the other issue that we're going to run into now is there's no way for me to put into here. You'll notice. It's like I, I can't really... This is the quest delivery system, and we're in dire need of a chest, which thankfully we have over here. Now, this is one of the other things that the, uh, the mod author was kind of vague on. There is a crafting table here, and you guys notice that I've got the workbench over here. Now, the question comes down to, is the workbench a machine? Um, if the workbench is a machine, then I've technically violated the rules by moving it from down there to here. That being said, I could have also just moved the one from over there over to here, uh, but he doesn't mention crafting benches in his post anywhere. So I am assuming that wrenching a workbench and moving it down here isn't a violation of the rules. Uh, if it turns out to be, um, I apologize. I know some of you guys will just let me know immediately if I'm, you're just a terrible person, Pyro. Yeah, sorry about that. Sorry about that. All right, so you want to be very careful how you do this because if you screw it up, you, you kind of screw it up. So what you want to do is you want to click in here, set this up. You want to select your task so that this is the, the one you're working on and right click. You bound Arabian Candles Part 2 to the quest delivery system. So what that means is every time I put a candle in here, it's going to feed in, it's going to go into there, and then it should update. You can see right there, one of 1,000. All right, so we're going to go ahead and fill this up real quick. You can see that's starting to load up. Uh, we are going to come over here, and we're going to break another one of these. I don't know if it'll work with strong boxes. I would assume it would, but um, you never really know. Never really know. So we're going to put that on top of there. And then I'll pick this up, and we're just going to vanilla shift it. Uh, for those of you guys who are curious how to do that, you just pick one up and then you shift, double click another item, and it should, in theory, move everything in there. Uh, but if you've watched me on prison, occasionally it decides, you know what, fuck it, we're just going to drop this shit on the ground. So keep that in mind and be careful how you do it. You know, if you're on a server that uh, wipes inventories from time to time, or not inventories, but what's on the ground from time to time, you don't want to do that because it, 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 will, it will straight up ruin your afternoon uh, badly, badly. All right, so we've got some more iron here. Uh, that's going to put us up at 40. Uh, and I'm a little worried here because I'm thinking we probably don't have enough iron to complete this. And if we don't, we may be in some serious trouble. Some serious trouble. All right, so that's putting us up at 64, 74, 84, plus 6. We're, we're good. We're good. So we're going to go ahead and process all of this Envar blend. Uh, we're going to hold off on the copper for now because we don't need that at the moment. Uh, you can see all of our Tinker's Alloy is now done, which is 64, 74, 80. So we're good, so we're good. So we're gonna go ahead and put this little Mamma Jamma back down. Uh, that should be empty, yes. And then we want you to empty from there. Well, we need to click on him first. We want you to empty from there and put into here. And he's gonna start doing his stuff. So that's gonna be filling in there. He's gonna be dumping. So they fill in, they dump in, they fill in, they dump in, and everybody's a happy person for the most part. All right, so I do still have my 48 ingots, which is good because I was a little bit worried about that. Bam, 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 bam. There we go. And this should give us exactly 20. And it does. See, isn't math awesome? You know, when, when Pyro actually gets his shit together and can do basic math, then, then things are good. Life is good. You know, the children are happy and, uh, and there's no crying or gnashing of teeth, which is always wonderful. All right, so we still have plenty of those running. Whoosh. And how much are we going over here? Those are the Envar ingots. Uh, nice thing about this is we can go ahead and go bam, 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 put that there, and that will go ahead and preemptively fill those up. All right, so I don't know how many candles we put in over here because um, I, I didn't do the exact math. I know I needed 15 stacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So it looks like we're about a stack shy. About a stack shy, give or take. Uh, and it looks like we are getting low on string. Low on string. So we're going to go bam, bam. And we're going to put uh, one more stack of string up here. And boom, that's three more. So what was it? 13, 14, 15, 16. That should complete our quest, uh, unless my math is just terribly wrong. Um, and this will actually give us a little bit of overage as well. 
So I'm going to probably just do, well, I don't give a fuck about candles. I think it's a one-time completion too, isn't it? Yeah, it doesn't say anything about repeatable. So I'm assuming once it's done, it's done. Now you'll also notice this is going to give me another resurrection voucher. Resurrection vouchers, remember earlier when I was telling you, uh, where is it, right here, and then click again. You can see we have one life, so that means if we die, game over, you lose. Well, the special quests apparently are the ones where you get your extra lives from, which is good, which is good. All right. Uh, you guys are still working, right? Okay. I got a little worried there because it looked like he was done. And I'm like, oh, shit. That's not good. That's not good at all. It's about to be a very unhappy panda. Very unhappy. All right. So you're done with that. You're still processing. Okay. So we have the option, I guess. We could take the wool and we could go ahead and grind it up. But you never know. There might be a point in time sometime down the road where we need that wool for something. Uh, probably a good idea to hang on to it, at least for the moment. Just, uh, you know, I mean, if we wanted to make a bed, uh, we really don't need to make a bed. I mean, we are completely sealed in here, and I believe the inside is lit up in such a way that there is no way for mobs to spawn inside of here. So we should be 100% fine. Um, you know, I'm not planning on breaking the glass on the outside here to let any of the uh, creepy crawlers in, so that shouldn't be a concern. Okay, so that's 64, 74, 75. We need five more ingots. We need two more ingots. We need one more. Come on, buddy. There we go. All right, so we put that in there. We shift click. Now we have 20. Boom. Shipments. Shipments. Shipment. Damn it. Okay, click and manual submit. Claim reward. And there we go. Need to be careful. Make sure the QDS is still set for. A special task. I'm hoping it is. I'm hoping I didn't just bone myself. Uh, okay, we're at 81% and climbing. So you can see right there, almost there. Almost there. All right, so let's open our reward bag. We get a golem upgrade fire. Improves damage capacity. So we don't need damage, but if it improves capacity, then capacity is pretty good. So let's read up on that real quick. Uh, golem Ancy, let's go down here to fire. Making your golem all fired up. The upgrade increases the interface inventory of a golem by two slots, allowing more items to be filtered or sorted. So, what I was bitching about earlier when we only had two options, now we can have four. Golem's melee attack also sets its target on fire. Specific golem cores might benefit from this upgrade in other ways. So you might wish to check if additional pages were added to their Thaumonomicron entries. Uh, so that's going to allow us to do a little bit more sorting. A little bit more sorting, which is always, always nice. All right, so I'm going to bring this chest. We're going to set it down over here, and this should have all of the Quicksilver for us. So that's two and a little over a half stacks. So not too shabby. How are we doing on this? Looks like we are just about there. Now, I have no idea what's going to be in this chest. Um, I'm hoping a ridiculous amount of Quicksilver. A ridiculous amount of Quicksilver. And there we go. 1,000. Claim reward. Did I get my reward, or did it just... Yes, we did. All right, so first off, we're going to use our heart. Resurrection vower, voucher, consume to get an extra life. We are going to go ahead and consume that. Just wanted to make sure that uh, he wasn't going to jade cat troll my ass. All right, click that. Uh, upgrade water, improves senses and range. Um, so the question is, how far will that range increase? Because usually it's 16. So water. Makes your golems more perceptive. This upgrade increases the visual range of most golems, allowing them to travel further afield to perform their tasks. It also increases the range and accuracy of ranged attacks. Specific golem cores. Okay, so it doesn't really tell me how much it increases range by. Which kind of sucks, because I guess I guess there's ways to test if I play around with it. I can probably figure that out. Um, did it leave me any candles? Okay, stop taking candles now. You're good. We, we, we'll, we'll keep the candles, even though we have no need for them. We will, we, will, we will hang on to them for just general principle. So I'll put those in there, put that there. Uh, good, 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 good. Okay, so we have five shiny ingots. We're going to need more of those here in a minute. Uh, oh, we didn't open our chest. We didn't open our chest. So we'll bring it over here, set it next to this one. Holy shit, and we got a flesh golem. Badass, and a ridiculous amount of quicksilver. Ridiculous amount of quicksilver. So what is a flesh golem? Advanced golems. 
You've discovered a way to improve golems in several minor but significant ways. Firstly, golems that go through this process are able to hold one additional upgrade, though they can never have more than two upgrades of a single type. Secondly, they move slightly faster. Thirdly, they have a slightly greater sight radius. You are sure the malevolent intent in their eyes is just your imagination. So, is Flesh in there? There he is, Flesh advanced. So, he's just a slightly better, more upgraded super golem, basically. Uh, and down here, while macabre golems made from zombie flesh have several features to recommend them, not only does it repair itself very quickly, it is able to hold two upgrades. Okay, so it can carry four, but it's very quick, um, and it can have two additional upgrades. So I guess a total of four upgrades, which is kind of cool, kind of cool. Um, although, we I don't think we really need that. I don't think we really need that, but we could use him for, I guess, some fairly complex complex math all right so right here we need 30 shiny ingots now you guys saw earlier we processed um the ferris and we were able to get five shiny ingots from one stack and i believe it i believe it comes from ferris i believe so we're gonna need at least a couple more of those packages um the other nice thing let's see over here on shipments we open this up uh, you can see we need to do energy cells now, and energy cells are going to require us to use. Choo -choo 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 -choo. If I can, I really wish we could double click those to open them up. Uh, that's going to require us to have engineering materials and precious metals because we're going to need gold for the uh, what do you call it the the coils, and then we're going to need uh, redstone and other things for that. Uh, thankfully, we're not here yet to otherworldly imports. So what I'll probably do. Let's see, how much do we have? We got a fairly decent amount. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do an alloy pack. We're gonna get two of these because we're gonna we're gonna need them. So that's one, that's two, okay. And then we're gonna go ahead and get one engineer's materials, manual cement, claim reward, and we're gonna do one precious metals, which is fucking expensive. Holy shit! All right, so manual cement, claim reward. All right, so now that we've got those three, uh, that still gives us a pretty decent. Uh, backlog here. What is that? One, two, three, four, five. Uh, let's see. Five times 64 plus 26 equals 346. Gives us 346. So if we wanted to, let's look at factory upgrades. Let's look at factory upgrades. Is there anything cool we can do here? Uh, if we want to get the pulverizer upgrade, we're not quite there yet. Uh, if we want to get another furnace upgrade, we are there. Um, that would kind of speed those things up. Uh, we can't get anything else down here. Now we could upgrade. If you have difficulty holding items to your QDS, you may want to use a hopper. Need more crates to store your shipment? Get an extra one for more logical ac logistical action. So I guess what this will do is allow us to have um, two QDSs maybe? We have a sawmill upgrade, the freezer upgrade, the charging upgrade, the crafting unit, uh, the farmland upgrade, and the chemistry lab. So I'm thinking we may need the charging upgrade if the shipment here is required to be charged. Uh, it doesn't say whether they have to be charged or not. So I'm hoping that it doesn't. I'm hoping it doesn't because if it does, that's going to kind of slow things down a little bit. Anyways, uh, I'm going to get to processing these materials that we just purchased here. Uh, once we get those processed, we'll jump to the next episode and uh, show you guys how we do that. Uh, hopefully you guys are liking the series. If you do, please slap that like button. Make sure you subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next clip.